What's going on everybody? Here we are back at an old spot. Hit me in the comments if you recognize this place. This is where I did one of the very first videos I really did on this bike and it kind of took off. It was why the Rad Rover is not for you. And uh, oh my, has this bike changed since that video. I got a lot of views. That was probably the first video I did that actually got you know, quite a few views. It still gets a lot of views, honestly. I guess people like to, that kind of stuff. They like to know the bad stuff. They want to hear the horror stories. I don't know why. I, I hate doing those videos where, sadly, it, make, it makes me a little sad, honestly. One of the best videos, best performing videos I ever did was Five Things I Hate About Rad Rover. And that one just like took off. People love to hear the hates. And if you haven't watched it, go watch it. It's, I get brutalized in the comments. <laughs> Because, I mean, I like the bike, so I was really struggling to find things I didn't like. So I talked about the weight and the loud kickstand and how the handlebars, you can't fit anything on them. But anyway, I, I'm back in that original spot and I thought I'd just do a quick video today. I'm running out of daylight, of course. I can't get out of the house before like 5 o'clock. But anyway, I, I, wanted to, I wanted to show you a couple things on this, this bike here. This is, of course, my 2018 Rad Rover that was completely upgraded with... Batteries, controllers, some hub motors, all that jazz. Check my website if you want to get any of it. Ridewithcitizen.com. We just took it off the charger, so... And I rode it over here. It was at like 57 volts, now we're 56. So, full, almost fully juiced here. Out for a quick ride. It's beautiful weather, except there's a storm blowing through. So it's crazy windy. I hope my audio is not crappy. I try so hard to get good audio, it's not easy. Because I am... Not a professional. I don't know how much longer I can keep saying that. At some point, after I do all these bike comparisons and reviews, I'm probably going to have to start maybe being more professional. I don't know. I'm just some guy. But what I want to show, I want to show you one thing on this bike here today about the watts and the watt output. Some of you were asking about that. And is it a lot different from stock? It is a lot different from stock. I don't remember, honestly, what the watt outputs were exactly in the pedal assist but there's something kind of crazy about this bike now i'll go illustrate up here in the straight stretch so we'll do that and then i want to give you just like some other quick channel update things so you know what's what's to expect and what's going to happen you know some of you guys are telling me you're getting like crazy speed out of this bike after the upgrades when i say crazy i mean somebody told me they've got like 36 miles an hour somebody told me over 40. i'm like what did you how did you get 40 plus miles an hour out of this bike. Did you throw it off a bridge or what? I can't get that. Mine's, you know, after like a quarter mile of flat ground, I can get maybe 34. But I want to show you this pedal assist thing. So let's let's do that now. I'm going to go to pedal assist one. All right. So in pedal assist one, after the upgrades, again, I did 52 volt battery, 35 amp controller, the true 750 hub motor. And it's at 80, 90... 100, 102, 106, 9, 11. All right, about 110 watts is what you get out of pedal assist one. Pedal assist two. Coming up to 240, 50, 60, 70, 280. And that's about it, 280 out of pedal assist two. Pedal assist three, four, eighty. Four ninety. About four ninety. Pedal assist four. About seven hundred and uh, six eighty. Right around 700. So pedal assist for about 700 watts is what it's given me. Now, this is what I want to point out. If you've seen my channel, you know this is like a 1700 watt bike. Where's the other thousand watts? So the jump from pedal assist four to five is like so dramatic. It just dumps all of the power to you. So let's go to five. Fifteen hundred, sixteen hundred, 
17. So there you go. I don't know why there's such a dramatic gap between pedal assist four and pedal assist five. Maybe I can change that in the settings. I don't know, I've never tried. Anybody ever try to do that? To give it a more consistent stagger, staging, whatever? Because right now it's just like four is okay and then bam, five, rocket ship. For that reason, I pretty much never ever use pedal assist five, unless I'm doing like a top speed run for you guys or something then maybe, but it just gives so much power, which I guess it should. Pedal Assist 5 should be giving you almost the max, but I think then Pedal Assist 4 should be giving you just under that. You know, it only gives you 700. It should be giving you like, I don't know, a thousand or something. But that's enough on the Pedal Assist Watt thing that I got going on. I still got to fix the speedometer too. I never did that. Uh, read zeros when I coast, never put the time into figuring it out. I'll do it someday. But uh, going forward, just kind of want to give you a heads up what I plan on doing. So you've seen I've done a lot of comparison videos lately. I've acquired several other bikes in the process and I hope to do more of those. The, you guys love the comparison videos. And honestly, I do too because it's, it's good to see firsthand what you get for your money on you know each, each company's bike. So I'm gonna try to keep doing more of those and try to get on as many bikes as I can to give you that info. I do have a friend down here that's got a rad runner, the, you know, the one speed base model rad runner. I'd like to get on that uh, and see what that's like. Cause I think that's cheap. I think it's only maybe 1100 bucks. I can't remember, but I want to see if that's worth it. I do want to, here's another thing I want to do. I want to test a moped style e-bike. I've not been on one of those. So I don't know which one, uh, but that's one thing I do want to try. Cause I really want to see the difference in the feel versus a full-size bike like this and also versus the minis like the electric xp i was on and my wife's rad mini i want to see if the moped has a drastically different feel to it or not also too i'd like to get on a bike maybe with a mid-drive motor to test that out and see the differences there everything i have is hub rear hub motors so but that's the plan to get on as many bikes as i can get the information out to you um, and plus enjoy it myself i love riding and testing new bikes it's so much fun so I'll continue to try to answer as many questions as I can about all the bikes I got. I know that's helpful for you guys. I do that a lot when I'm trying to buy something or research something. I'll go to YouTube and watch the you know, videos on it to see actual real user experience with stuff. That's one of the reasons I started doing this. I like to put that info out there because I use it so much too. So, And I like to relay how much fun these things are. Maybe inspire you to get out of your house and stop watching Netflix and get on one of these bikes. Because I got to tell you, I hate bicycling, but I love e-biking because there's nothing like it. Effortless when you want it to be. Ah, uh, the mistress. Spend way too much time on her. Uh, if you're, you have a rad and you're, well, actually any fat tire e-bike and you're watching this, uh, best, one of the best upgrades I ever did. Tannis armor inside the tires. I don't work for Tannis. They're not paying me to say that. I'm just, I'm still loving this, man. They are so soft in there. I mean, I'm only running like 13 pounds of pressure in them. But with that foam liner in there, they squish over every bump. You can run over roots and sticks and pine cones and they just mold around it. You don't even feel it. By far, one of the best upgrades. We are running out of daylight. So let's go up here and uh, let's light this, light this bike up. I'm gonna be going into the wind, but oh well. I think it was what 33.9 was the highest I saw when I looked down. Not bad for for this bike. 33.9 miles an hour into the wind, into a headwind. So let's check this. Does it get hot? 
I would call that barely warm. Warmer than outside temperature, barely. So, not hot at all. So if you haven't subscribed already, do that and hit the bell, because I'm gonna keep bringing you info on the Rad Rover here, the upgrades I'm doing, also the Hemiway bike, and whatever else I can get my hands on. If you like seeing stuff about e-bikes, keep watching. Thank you to everyone for contributing uh, knowledge and information in the comments, and uh, ride safe, I'll talk to you later.